complex animations are made easy in Proto.io. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to create a custom downloading bar, so stay tuned. Step 1. Adding Elements To begin, add one text box to your canvas. You can drag and drop this from the UI panel. Center and position it, and change the name to Downloading, just like we have. Now, don't worry about the downloading status bar or button. Those will come later on. As you can see, we've added some more elements just for fun. Step two, creating a bar container. Click container and then add new container. Label it D underscore bar and set its size to 270 by 30 and also select a transparent background. Now, the white portion of the screen, which is small, is actually your canvas. Okay, create two rectangles, each 270 by 30 in size. Place one on the white canvas and the other directly beside it to its left. Color the left rectangle with the color you'd like to have for the progress bar. We're going to choose an orange. Now, click on State and select Duplicate. Move the colored rectangle onto the canvas and delete the other rectangle. Now below, under timing, scale back to see the entire time frame. Then, drag the timer for the colored rectangle to just after 8 seconds. Okay, let's recap. What we've done here is create the two halves of the downloading status bar. The first state, when completed, flows into the second state and the second state will take about 8 seconds to complete. All of this is kept in what's called a container, and containers can be dragged and dropped onto any screen. Hey, quick reminder, if you're finding this helpful, please give us a thumbs up. That would be incredible. All right, back to it. Step three, creating a button container. Okay, click container again and add a new container. Label it D underscore button. And this time, set its size to 270 by 80. And again, select a transparent background. Drag a button onto the screen, size it to fit, and label it Download. Now, click on State and Duplicate. Click on the button, Properties, and change the background color to a light gray. Once you're done that, change the text to say downloaded or complete. It's up to you. Step four, creating an interaction for the download button. Click on the button, then interactions, then add interaction. For trigger, select tap. For action, select change container state. For screen, select the current screen. For container, select current. For state, select state 2. And for delay, select custom. Enter 9000. Okay, let's recap here again. What's going to happen is when the button is tapped, that's the trigger, the state is going to change. That is the action. And it's going to change from state 1, which has the download button, to state 2, which has the downloaded button. And it will do this in 9,000 milliseconds. Step 5. Adding the containers to the home screen. Now navigate back to the home screen. Click on containers and find the D button and D bar containers. For each, click add to canvas and position them to your liking. Step 6. Adding an interaction to the download button. Click on the download button interactions and add interaction. For trigger, select tap. For action, select change container state. For screen, select current screen. For container, select D underscore bar. For state, select next state. And you can leave delay. Okay, one last recap. When the button is tapped, that's the trigger, it changes the container state, that's the action. And what it does is it forces the D bar to move from state 1 
to state two. All right, step seven, our last step. Save the interaction, save the project, and preview. All right, now when we press download, you can see that the downloading bar begins to fill up. And when it's complete, the download button turns to the gray downloaded button.